EMC and Microsoft have been alliance partners for 15 years, delivering leading business-critical applications and cloud solutions. Microsoft has recently announced a refresh of key components in its cloud solutions, mainly Windows Server 2012 R2, System Center 2012 R2, as well as Windows Azure Pack. The major enhancements made in these three components provides a consistent end-to-end -end experience across on-premise private clouds, hosted private clouds, and the public cloud. EMC is proud to announce that our data protection suite is now offering full support for these environments. The EMC data protection suite includes EMC Avamar, EMC Networker, and EMC Data Protection Advisor. And together, these components offer not only comprehensive support in Microsoft Cloud environments, but also the flexibility and agility your organization needs. In this demo, I will walk you through how an end user tenant can create a virtual machine based on a service plan subscription, and then we will look at how the EMC Data Protection Suite automatically assigns these newly created tenant VMs to a backup policy. Keep in mind, while I will be using EMC Avamar as the basis for this demo, the same workflow and features can also be implemented leveraging EMC Networker as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I'm in the Azure Pack admin interface, and I have two plans that I've created, Contoso Gold and Public. If we take a look at Contoso Gold, you can see here um, there are planned services, virtual machine clouds that I have provisioned, which include limits and quotas on compute and storage and networking, for example. If I go into the tenant UI, you can see here I'm logged in as Percy Bowman, an end user who's looking to provision a virtual machine. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go through the process of actually creating a virtual machine. And I'm going to make a standalone virtual machine. I'm going to choose a Windows Server 20, 2008 R2. I'm going to give it a name. In fact, this server is going to be used for link services, so I'm going to call it Link Server. And then give it a password. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and give a product key or insert the product key here for the specific Windows Server distribution. And there's the product key. We'll go ahead and continue. Now we'll specify the network resources. And off we go creating the virtual machine. So now that we have seen how Windows Azure Pack enables tenants to quickly and easily deploy VMs and applications through an easy-to-use portal interface, let's take a look at how the EMC Data Protection Suite has applied our newly created virtual machine to a backup and recovery policy. So now what I'm going to do is go into the Avamar Administrator UI and actually look at the backup policy system that I have and here we'll go into the policy UI and you can see here I have a group created, pre-created here to back up the Contoso Gold uh, Hyper-V environment. So what I'll do is I'll just edit and review this particular policy group and you can see here that uh, as soon as we open up the policy I'll go ahead and enable the group, which will actually enable it for backups. And we specify a particular data set that has all the specifications on how to properly back up the actual Hyper-V VM images. Um, so all of that specification that's made inside of that data set includes um, that we want to back up Hyper-V images, as well as directing those backups to data domain EMC protection storage. So from here, I can also specify a schedule, and you can see here I've applied a default schedule, a specified retention, and here I have a default retention of 60 days. And then finally, I can add in the members that I want to include in this particular policy group. And in this case, I have two Hyper-V servers, one of which, this particular Hyper-V server, has the virtual machines that are being created 
by our tenants inside of the Contoso Gold service plan. So what I'm going to go, go ahead and do is just say OK to that. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll run a backup of this particular group and we'll come back and see how we would actually perform an image-based recovery of that virtual machine. So now you can see here that we've run a backup of the hypervisors, um, the Hyper-V servers themselves actually. And here you can see this particular uh, Hyper-V server um, and this one here. This is where the actual virtual machine that is in our Contoso Gold group resides. So now that we've run a backup, I'm going to run through a typical scenario. You can see here um, that in the Azure Pack, or the tenant UI for the Azure Pack, you can see here that the user's VM that they've created is, is, is in a missing status. And if we go to the Hyper-V server itself, you can see that the virtual machine has actually been deleted. So what I'm going to walk through really quickly is show you how quick and easy it is to go through the Avamar UI and perform that recovery itself. So I'm just going to click here on the restore and then go through on the clients and pick the Hyper-V server that has the virtual machine. And you can see here I ran the backup and we have backups on the 7th and the 15th of this particular Hyper-V server. I'm going to go to the most recent backup I just took. So it's just as easy as selecting the RPO again all natively in the Avamar UI and then in here you can see my VM right away link server so all I'm going to do to recover that link server VM is select it and then say right click and say restore now and then in here I can specify some options uh, for performance reasons I'm turning off encryption and then there's flexibility on how we can recover that that VHD or the Hyper-V VM I'm going to restore to the original server in this demo, but Avamar also gives you the ability to restore to a different Hyper-V server or location, or we can restore the, just the raw virtual machine files for manual provisioning as well. But I'm just going to do an original Hyper-V server recovery. And then all I have to do is just say OK, and the restore request kicks off. And once that clears, I can now look at the activity pane and there it is, the recovery job is now running. And as you can see very quickly, our restore process for that virtual machine has completed. So now what I'm gonna do is go into the Hyper-V Manager, and you can see here that the VM is back in our uh, Hyper-V Manager on the Hyper-V server, and now it's in a saved state. So simply what I will do is just go here, and then just say, uh, can uh, start and it will actually start the VM restoring it from the safe state and we can see it's been succeeded and now our virtual machine is running so when I go now to the Azure pack view in a little while we should actually get a refresh of the fact that this virtual machine is now uh, in a saved state and pretty soon will be running. There we go. So now that the VM is back and running, our tenant can access and use that UI. Um, so we will go in and just say connect just to show you that it is in fact running. And we're connecting via the console and here you go. Uh, I now run into the VM and can log in. So you can see how quick and easy it is using Avamar and the EMC data protection suite to recover virtual machines in a Hyper-V Azure private cloud environment. Thanks for watching.